nah. Hey, hey, I, I, I'm sorry, y'all. Just really quickly, breaking news. Uh, 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 an update has been given to us. Uh, it looks like the Memphis Grizzlies are going to that play in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ski. Yeah, John Moran, baby, rookie of the year. We going to the play in. Uh, right now, currently, I, I'm keeping up with the game. Memphis is up by like 20 on Milwaukee, playing without Giannis. I, I prayed to God. I was like, Lord, please do something. Do something, a miracle. And what do you know? Giannis went and headbutted Mo Wagner on the Wizards. That's random. Praise God. God is good. God is real. Okay, go open the Bible. Okay. So, Memphis going to the play-in. It looks like they're going to be going up against Dame. Dame Dollar has been hot. Not going to lie. No cap. He's been going off. Everyone's afraid of him right now. Um, so yeah, we, we about to see Portland and Memphis in that play-in. Uh, that's going to be interesting. Uh, speaking about Dame, Dame had a crazy week. Uh, Saturday he went up against the Clippers. Um, great game by the way. But uh, something weird happened at the end. It was supposed to be Dame time, but but instead he missed two free throws and missed the game winner. So him and Pat Bev and uh, Paul George got into it, you know, little thing on the sideline. Families were involved, but then, you know, it's, it's all respect. It's all respect. Then we see Dane go out and he drops 51 the next day. So, so, so Saturday he lost to the Clippers. Then all that happened, all that trash talk. Then Sunday he came back and dropped 51 points. 51. Okay. Then he gets into it with uh, Mr. Skip Bayless. Mr. Skip Bayless goes on Twitter and says some things and Dame Lillard responds. So they get into it. And then Dame comes out the next, uh, on Tuesday, and he drops 61. The boy went and dropped 61. Okay, he's going off, man. If I were the Lakers, I'd be afraid. I was watching the Lakers and they do not look good. They do not look good. They do not look good. Anyway, back to Dane, man. Portland, Portland's going to be scary. Um, I do want to see Portland go into the playoffs, uh, but it's just it, it's just great to see Ja have the opportunity uh, to get more shine, you know, on, on Memphis. Uh, but they'll be over there next year for sure. Um, but, yeah, back to Dane, man. Um, it looks like Portland's going to go into that eighth seed, and we're going to see Portland in L.A. in that first, uh, first round. And a lot of dudes been saying, hey, L.A. should be afraid. L.A. should be afraid. No backcourt. Who's going to stop Lillard? You going to put LeBron out there on Lillard? Now who's going to score on offense? And uh, Blazers don't have no um, no scrubs. Okay? They got C.J. McCollum. They got Gary Trent Jr. over there, too. And they got a good front court. Hassan Whiteside. Nurkic. Now, white side, he may not be as good, but that's a big body. That's what, 6'11", six, 7 six, feet? That's a big body. So, I don't know, man. If I were the Lakers, I'd be, I'd be trying to figure something out because they did not look good, man. Anyway, back to the next uh, team that we're going to talk about. The Rockets. Uh, Russell Westbrook, it looks like he's going to be out for the start of that first round. Um, are we afraid for, uh, for Harden? They're playing the Thunder. They're playing the Thunder. So not too much to be afraid of. Not too much to be afraid of. But, uh, it's going to be interesting, man. CP3 James Harden. Reunion. How you doing? Let's see how that goes. Um, speaking of, uh, teams missing, uh, missing a big part of their, uh, offense. Um, Ben Simmons out for the Sixers. Now that's going to be a big one. That's going to be a big one. It's up, it's up to Joel Embiid again. And uh, who they got? They got the Sixers? Yeah. I don't know, man. I think I th uh, the Celtics, sorry. Uh, I think they're going to be bounced out in the first round, man. I told you I was interested to see who they play. And uh, it's, it's looking worse now with Simmons out. Embiid isn't even 100%. And you know how that is. Uh, a lot of talk. People saying, um, oh, was that the last game that Embiid and Simmons going to play together? Maybe. Maybe. 
we don't know. We don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I, the Sixers, it looks like they're going to be out in that first round, honestly. Um, but hey, that's the, that's the Eastern Conference for you. The easy, easy East. The big easy. Um, I mean, you got the Raptors in second seed. The Raptors. Shout out to the Raptors, though. I mean, they're playing great basketball to even hold on to that second seed. With no superstar, really. Just the most improved player, Pascal Siakam. You know? But, uh, yeah, they're playing great basketball. So, shout out to them. Next up, we got the, uh, the Heat and the Pacers. Uh... I mean, not too, not too important, but they do got a game tomorrow uh, that decides who gets home court. Um, so that's going to be interesting, man. And uh, yeah, a possible four to seven more games of uh, TJ Warren versus Jimmy Butler. Um, they did play uh, this week. Wasn't really anything to see. Uh, TJ Warren got locked down, though. No one's talking about that. I think Jimmy told the team, he was like, yo, don't, don't let this, don't let this boy do nothing. Second half, dude has zero points. So, uh, yeah. If that's not enough preview of what's going to happen in the series, I mean. So, don't sleep on the heat. Don't sleep on the heat. Uh, breaking news. The uh, Dallas Mavericks have just lost to the Phoenix Suns. But the Memphis Grizzlies have defeated the Milwaukee Bucks. So, it doesn't matter. Unless Portland loses... It looks like we're going to have Memphis and Portland in the play-in. So, I'm happy. Like I said, I'm happy. Alright, so we're going to go back to the West Coast, alright? Uh, there's, there's a couple things left over there. The Suns... Salute. Salute to the Suns, man. It's gonna, They're going to look good next season. They're going to look good next season. Um, Speaking of next season, or the future for the Suns, what's going to happen with Devin Booker? Maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe maybe they might not look good two season or, you know, in the future. Is Booker still going to be there? Draymond went on NBA uh, on TNT and straight up said he got to leave. He got to leave. Then he was asked, are you tampering? <laughs> what do you think Draymond said, man? <laughs> he said, maybe. <laughs> Hey, man, shout out Devin Booker, man. Um, that's crazy, you know, putting all that work. They went undefeated in the bubble, man. Undefeated in the bubble. Still couldn't make it. Almost, though. Almost, though. Shout out Devin Booker, man. Wet like I'm booked. Um, yeah, they're going to look good, man. If he if he stays in Phoenix, you know, it, it's going to be interesting. But um, it, it's always tough to see a, a dude like that play and the team's not really performing, you know what I mean? But uh, shout out Devin Booker. Shout out to the Suns. Put on a great show during the bubble. Just, just not enough. Uh, a little too late. Um, so going into this Eastern Conference uh, playoffs, Western Conference playoffs, the top teams aren't looking so good. Just like I'm not look, looking so good in this game right now. Damn. Shaq bringing this back. Shaq bringing this back. Let's go, big fella. But yeah. So that Eastern Conference, the Bucks. They don't look as, you know, explosive as they should be. They don't look as, it doesn't look as convincing that they're going to take that Eastern Conference as it should be. Um, then you also have on the West, the Lakers, same thing. They're not playing like a first round team. And of course you have the fans of the Bucks. You got the fans of the Lakers who are going to tell you, oh, uh, we can turn it on. We can turn it on. Oh, okay. You can turn it on. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll see. But we can't give you that confidence because last year, what happened with the Bucks? They got beat by the Raptors. What happens with the Lakers? Well, we know what happens with them on a nightly basis. We don't know if they're going to, you know, finish the game. We don't know if they're going to come out the game to begin with strong. We don't know if they're going to wake up in the first. We don't know. Now, this isn't like Kobe and Shaq back in the day where they can just flip the switch and they on. It's not. Now, we can say LeBron can do it. We've seen him do it. But those other dudes, we haven't seen him do it. It's going to be interesting, though. But, yo, 
If Dame is the one to meet him in that first round, it is going to be crazy, man. And, uh, Dame, that's going to be a good matchup. Dame Lillard versus LeBron James. Now, I got a theory. Now, Dame has been underrated for a long time. I, I, I'll i say underrated. He was one of those dudes who was, who was underrated for a dude who plays the way he plays. Now he's getting a little more buzz. A little more buzz. And it's crazy to even to even think that. Damian Lillard getting more buzz. Yeah, like he's getting more buzz. Because he wasn't getting that, you know, respect that he should have had before all this. So now he has that shot against the Thunder um, to eliminate him in the playoffs. Um, and now he's going crazy. Uh, cover athlete on NBA 2K. I mean, he, I feel like he's getting a little, you know, he's, he's pumping his chest up a little more, you know? Just dropped some mixtapes, you know? Uh, got some tracks on there with Lil Wayne, the GOAT, you know? I think he's pumping his chest up. He wants he wants people to respect him, you know? Put some respect on his name, you know? So, uh, I feel like, and Skip brought this up too when he was uh, explaining his, his issue with him. He feels like Dane thinks he should be one of those dudes in the league who should be a, a voice, like a face of the league, like LeBron. And his thing was, well, what have you done? What, what awards do you have that they do? And uh, when you put it like that, he's right. But uh, if Dame can come into that first round and be like, yo, look what I'm doing in this bubble. Watch what I'm going to do to LeBron James. Your king. This is your king. This is your king. Yeah, I think he, I think he, yeah. I don't know, man. It's going to be interesting to see. Um... But uh, yeah, those those Western Conference teams aren't really like those first round games against first round in uh, the eighth seed or first seed in the eighth seed. I don't feel like it's gonna be that easy, except for the Bucks. But that's because the East is is easy, the easy easy East. Uh, yeah, the Bucks got what Orlando, easy, easy. It's a sweep. It's a sweep. Now the Lakers. Uh, that West Coast is wild. That's a wild, wild West over there. That West Coast is wild. So, I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that. Um, I do want to go over the, uh, the playoff, uh, matchups. But, I'm going to drop another video, uh, to preview into the playoffs. Um, really quickly, I just want to go over, uh, actual, the actual uh, bubble awards. Um, just to say, uh, some of the, uh, guys that they have there for, uh, some of the awards they have. Rookie of the Bubble. Now, Michael Porter Jr., John Morant, Cameron Johnson. I'm gonna go with Michael Porter Jr. He's been going off for Denver. We can't sleep on Denver. Denver is, uh, <laughs> I think they lost against the Clippers on purpose. They lost against the Clippers on purpose. And I feel like they lost against the Lakers on purpose. Because they don't want to face Dallas in that first round. Who do you want to face, Dallas or Utah? I feel like you want to play uh, Utah just because they got a smaller team. They're missing Bogdanovich. Their offense isn't up to par. So Denver does, does it again. Last season they did that too, trying to, you know, uh, try and lose their way into the position that they wanted. And they did it again. They got an easier matchup in that first round. Now the Clippers got to deal with uh, Porzingis and Doncic. I'm not saying Clippers are going to lose the series, but it ain't going to be easy. And uh, that's just gonna tire you out. And when you're when you're on the road to try and get to the uh, to the Western Conference Finals, you want to be as fresh as you can. So I don't know, man. It's 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 gonna be tough. That was a smart move by Denver. Comeback player of the bubble: Joseph Nurkic, Trey Burke, Andre Robertson. Joseph Nurkic, I gotta give it to him. Uh, he's been playing lights out for Portland. Uh, and like I said, Portland's gonna be dangerous because of him. Because of Melo, averaging, what, 15 or more a game. Um, CJ McCollum, once he gets healthy, he's going to be, uh, you know, elite. And then they got this guy, the sixth man of the bubble, Gary Trent Jr. Now, his other co uh, competition was Rudy Gay, Michael Porter Jr., Javon Carter. But Gary Trent Jr. has also been producing for that team. That's why they are in the position they're in. Next up, we got the best play. Gobert scoring the first basket? Nah. Kuzma's game winner against Denver. Now that was great, but it didn't really prove nothing for the Lakers. It just it just makes them look bad. It makes the Lakers look bad because that game they shouldn't have been in that position anyway. Uh, the next nominee was Doncic between the legs pass. If y'all haven't seen that, go check out my video. Uh, the Dallas Mavericks versus Milwaukee Bucks. 
you'll you'll see that play. We had to run that back a few times. Um, then uh, Lillard's uh, high bouncing three, nah. Uh, but Booker's buzzer beater, that's the one I take. The one against the Clippers, right in PG's face, yeah, that one, yeah. Um, and then the coach of the bubble, um, Greg Popovich, uh, Jack Vaughn, or Monty Williams. Got to go to the Suns coach. You go undefeated in the bubble, you got to. Uh, defensive player of the bubble, they got Marcus All taking it. Um, but yeah, then we got the MVP of the bubble. You already know who it got to be. Dame Lillard, man. Dame Lillard, man. He got to get it. Second place was Devin Booker. Third place, TJ Warren, which I I, I I like that top three. And then you got Harden, Giannis, and Doncic to end it off. But yeah, it's going to be interesting, man. That uh, that first round is going to be interesting. It's in the West Coast. In the West Coast. The East is going to be a little uh, But uh, yeah, man. I'm going to be dropping a video um, of the playoff preview. Um, all the matchups, all the first round matchups, we're going to go through them and see uh, what we can get to happen. But uh, yeah, guys, um, I'm excited. I know y'all excited. This dude is so excited he had to leave the match to, you know, go check out the video because I'm about to drop it right now. So yeah, y'all have a good day. Peace.